Yo YouTube, Johannes here from Olon Toroto aka Living Room Productions and today we are again in Aegisup subtitle editor and we are checking out some ways how to make transparent black box behind your subtitles here in Aegisup. That is what is coming up. And just before we start, I just want to remind you that you can subscribe to my channel if you find these videos any helpful or find some value from these tutorials that I make here or some other videos. So, but thank you if you subscribe. Uh, let's discuss about a couple of different ways how you can make or modify a transparent box right here in Aegisup. And as you can see, I have put my subtitle to right here, middle of my video, and uh, I have made it a little bit bigger that you can see what we are doing and um, yeah so where you could make a transparent box so it's it's right here style editor so you can access the style editor from here subtitle and style manager or just by clicking this edit button so let's click here edit so let's start by modifying these outline and shadow values and let's start from the shadow actually uh, shadow works like this if if you put like five to here and hit apply you can see it applies the shadow here you can change the shadow opacity from here going to the shadow and uh, here is the opacity value for for shadow and uh, you can you can apply it and see I just made the shadow more visible here by dragging this slider up and if you put it down will be more uh, transparent as you can see it goes goes away okay um, but if you, if you want to put the uh, transparent box behind your text click here op opaque box okay and uh, as you can see it it, it puts the uh, transparent box right here and hit apply and you can see it goes behind your text and as you can see it's a little bit too attached to this uh, left side and if you're paying uh, attention here it's more there there is more space here so how can we fix that if you put this value this shadow value a little bit lower and uh, you can see the shadow moves a little bit and if you put it to the one the shadow starts to go uh, to the center of this uh, text so let's put uh, 0, 0 0.1 here this is the most centered shadow that I can that I can get with this uh, shadow value because if you write 0 here the shadow will go away so let's keep this uh, 0 0.1 here but what about if you have two rows of text let's try that so uh, press shift enter so you can make uh, the sentence break here so let's write some test text I'm just gonna copy this couple of times so we can get like we can like see how it goes here so uh, right now we have a pretty good transparent box behind our text and it, it goes really like correctly behind the text let's see a little bit more okay it, it goes still well so this is basically how you can uh, get a transparent box behind your text using the shadow value and remember to you can you can always uh, change the opacity value from here you can make the transparent box a little bit darker or not so dark by dragging this opacity value up or down so but what if if you want some room to your text uh, to this transparent box like like to the left side of your text and to the up and uh, to the right side here because now this transparent box is to my taste it's a little bit too still a little bit too attached to this subtitle here so if you want that now we have to talk about this outline value and play around a little bit with this so let's also test this outline thing with only one row of text so let's put this uh, shadow away 
and hit apply and OK and let's remove. So let's press Ctrl X here so you can have your this text in your keyboard memory. So let's play around with one row of text first. So go to edit. Let's put some outline here. Okay, you can see we got the same kind of transparent box almost. Let's put a little bit more here. So let's put uh, like 10. Hit apply and uh, you can see the transparent box grows a little bit. And uh, you can adjust the transparency from here outline and uh, you can put it you can drag it up or down with this slider and hit OK and apply and you can see uh, this transparent box goes a little bit darker here and uh, if we go go down here you can see that box goes more transparent so and if we put a little bit more here, you can see it still grows and as you can see everything seems to be all right so you have one row of text and you have a little bit room here outside your text uh, between the transparent box but what if if you write another row of text so let's try that and if you press the ctrl x you can now just press ctrl v so let's copy the text back so as you can see, something is a little bit weird. Uh, because we did this transparent box with the outline value, uh, the outline value works like this. It, it outlines every row of text. So can we fix this issue? Let's go to edit again. And let's start putting this value a little bit down here. So let's put like 10 and see what happens. The problem goes a little bit away and let's put like five and hit apply and it shrinks again and let's put like one and hit apply. And now you can see it, it's almost gone and uh, let's put like 0 0.1 here again and hit apply. And now it's like gone away but but right now we are having the same situation what we had with the shadow thing here so the transparent box is sticking to the text here so do we have any way of getting around this thing here do we have any way of getting some room to the text and to the transparent box well i found some way and i can show you it but it's maybe not the best way to do this but uh let's still let's still do that so let's hit apply and okay and uh press again shift and enter so we have another break here between your rows and now go to edit and outline and let's see what happens here so now if we are if we are dragging this value up we are getting some room to the transparent box and let's put like nine or more 15 or 17 yeah we are close and let's put like 18 no 17.5 yeah all right, 17.5 got me this result. So now there is a little bit more space here, but now you have a little bit room outside your text and like in between the transparent box, as you can see. So this is the way that I came up with. If you if you know any better ways to do this, uh, please comment down below and, uh, and make everybody else aware of that. So yeah, this is it. Uh, if you find this video any helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, follow me on Instagram because Instagram is our most updated social media channel. And uh, I'm Johannes and I thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you have a really epic day there.